Hi, one of the new features of the 1.3.3 release of MeshLab is the possibility to set the render mode for each layer in a MeshLab project independently. This means that we can visualize each layer by setting a different rendering mode, so visualizing only the points or triangulated surfaces and so on. In the previous release of MeshLab it was possible to set it only in the main toolbar and you had only the same rendering mode for all the layers. This uh, was sometimes a, a problem when you had uh, mm, uh, some type of uh, uh, MeshLab project like this one, for example, where the first layer is a point cloud, while the second one is triangulated surface, which is not made by, by a lot of points. So uh, if you have only one possible render mode, if you set the visualization by point, you have uh, the, the point cloud, which is very easy to handle, while the other one, since it's made by not a lot of points, it's not so easy to handle even like double clicking becomes quite difficult. Uh, at the same time, if you want to visualize the second layer in the right way and you just set the visualization with triangulation, since uh, the first one doesn't have any triangle, it becomes invisible. So uh, in the previous release, sometimes it was mm, difficult to handle data which were uh, essentially different in one respect to the other. Now, having the possibility to set independently the render mode for the different layer makes things uh, easier to handle with the peculiar uh, situations. Uh, one typical example, for example, would be to have models coming from triangulation 3D scanning and uh, something coming from, uh, I don't know, um, time of flight scanning or dense stereo matching. And so um, this is something that is becoming more and more uh, typical or another thing is when you want to put together things coming from an acquisition uh, technology so they are they are usually made by a lot of points and small triangles and you want to put them together with something which has been manually uh, modeled which is usually made by a much lower uh, amount of uh, triangles actually when you're dealing with uh, really a lot of uh, layers like uh, tens and tens if not hundreds of layers and maybe they are uh, all of the same nature. Uh, having this uh, uh, per mesh uh, toolbar uh, makes things uh, um, a bit slower. Okay, so there is the possibility if you want to disable this per mesh toolbar and to switch back to the situation that was in the previous uh, release. So uh, if you all have all data which are exactly the same and you want to handle them at the same time in the same way in rendering. What you can do is to go in Tools, Options, here are options related uh, to background and lots of other things that you can try to change for the appearance and also handling of other stuff in MeshLab. There is a tutorial, a uh, short tutorial about that. Now there is this last option which is called uh, Per Mesh Toolbar. If you double click on this you can decide if you want to show the Per Mesh Rendering Site Toolbar or not. So if you disable that and you close. Now you have uh, the layer dialog uh, as it was before. So you have, you can set the rendering mode for all the layers at the same time. At any time you can switch back by going back in the options and for example enabling again the per layer render mode. Okay. So. This can be useful if you are dealing with a lot of data, a lot of layers, and maybe you're experiencing that, experiencing that MeshLab is, is a bit slower. Uh, one thing that you can do is to remove the per mesh render toolbar and things should be a bit more faster. Thank you.